Okay, I'm gonna show you guys an example of a poor rep and a good rep, okay? So when you're going into a movement, you wanna make sure that you're moving with intention and you also wanna keep in mind good form, okay? So let me show you what a bad uh, <laughs> execution of a bicep curl would look like, right? So we have our weights and we're going into it and we're kinda of just going like this, right? A little swing, maybe I'm bringing my arms behind uh, my back here. There's no control here. I'm literally just using momentum. I don't even really feel this in my bicep, right? Or I'm like doing weird things. I don't know, swinging my hips forward, just kind of swaying the weights around. So what we want to do is we kind of want to move with more intention, slow the movement down and make sure that we're moving with good form. So for a bicep curl from your shoulder to your elbow, you're going to keep it pretty much in a straight line and you're really only moving from your elbow to your wrist, right? So you're gonna keep your elbows locked in the same place, right? They're not gonna to move too far forward. They're not gonna to move too far back. All right, they're here. I'm gonna bring it up nice and slow. Take it down nice and easy. Now right here, I didn't feel anything else other than my biceps, maybe a little bit of my forearm and a little tug in the shoulder, but that's about it. So nice and easy, full lockout. I lock out the bottom, squeezing my tricep too. Right, I'm not going like this. I'm not just doing these small range of motion uh, movements, right? I want to go all the way down, lock it out, bring it all the way up. Don't want to take it to here, right? Because then I'm going in with that swing and I don't want to add that swing in there. Also, if you're going in with the squat, um, show you a good rep versus a bad rep. So for a squat, this would be a good rep. I'm going to breathe, take it down on my heel, and I'm going all the way down and pushing up. Now, if I was doing a bad rep, I would do something maybe like this. Like this is like a half rep. Um, this is definitely not good. And I'm only burning out my quad, right? I'm not even getting the glute or hamstrings in there as well. So just to get the most out of the movement, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna send my hips back, so I'm gonna fix my form. And I'm gonna take my time nice and easy, breathing through it, full range of motion, and then coming all the way back up. So when you wanna, uh, when you're looking at the difference between a poor rep and a good rep, I would say there's three main things. One is the speed, two is the form, and three is the range of motion. All right, so you wanna focus on those three things and just make sure that you're focusing on what you're doing. If you're doing a bicep curl, you probably should be feeling it in your biceps. If you're doing a squat, you should probably be feeling it in your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings. If you're doing a crunch, you should probably feel it in your upper abdominals. Probably shouldn't feel it in your neck or your lower back, right? So um, again, just keep all of that in mind and make sure you're performing your set with good reps.